Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. And listen, I got a very important video, as usual, to present to you. I want to talk about something that I coined trash man in terms of dating and relationship and this one I entitled like the short if you watch the short don't be a trash man now what do I mean by this a trash man let's talk in terms of, of garbage the trash man is the one who comes in his garbage truck and he picks up all the leftovers that somebody done threw in the garbage. All the stuff they didn't want that somebody threw in the garbage. All the stuff that was about to spoil, that spoiled, that somebody threw in the garbage. Now, the simp is a trash man. The side dude is a trash man. The dude that married a, the woman that got divorced because she wasn't given her husband, no, she was being argumentative and disrespectful, and you trying to love her, you're a trash man. You're not sticking to the code. You're not sticking to the code. You giving them a out, like you giving them a bailout. And they ain't even been in like, like relationship court. We ain't talking about the other court that they love, family court. These guys, these trash men are giving these women an out and they haven't even had to take accountability for their actions. The trash man is the one who mess with your wife, who mess with your live-in girlfriend. The trash man turned people's lives upside down that trusted in these women. You try, you're a trash man. You dirty and you coming to pick up the dirty. And like I say, I, I equate it to the garbage man that comes and he empties our trash bins. Stuff we done threw in the trash. Chicks be cheating. Here he go trying to love her. Trash man. You at work. You the work husband. Trash man. You taking your lift and you coming in, you emptying out the trash. The difference with the trash man, though, and he like Fred Sanford, he keeping some of it. He trying to salvage the trash. You know, and I'm not saying that some people don't deserve another chance. Don't take it that way. I'm saying that some of these people, they need to take accountability for what they've done and how they messed over good men and all of that good stuff first. These women will emasculate a man and then be trying to treat Pookie like a king. Pookie is a trash man. You supposed to know how to vet and you supposed to be like, nah, I'm I'm a pass. But these dudes don't pass. You know what they do? They try to create drama between them and the old dude. Only way I would ever have drama with the old dude is if he is, is somehow trying to mess up my finances, trying to get in her head and get her to mess me up, or he do something to my kids. If I put a chick away and somebody else get with her. I don't care. As long, long as it don't affect me or my kids or my money. But the trash man is trash. So he going to do something that stinks. The stepdaddy is the trash man. Because you could get with her. Without now I could see. Like it's certain situation. I'm the truth, man. I'm gonna be honest. If dude is dead, that's different. Me personally, I still wouldn't try to 
fill fill in the void because I know people that their stepkids are creating more problems for them than their kids. I know people like this. That's why the stepdaddy is the trash man. You 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 collecting the trash. You emptying out the trash bins. There's somebody else doing the trash. Now, if she benefiting you, like she getting her bag and she sharing her bag with you and stuff like that, that's different because you benefit. But most trash men ain't going to benefit. They be getting beat up when the kids grow up. They be beating them up. They older now. Ain't took care of themselves, so the kids be beating them up. Because you get older, and we're going to do a part two because y'all really. Anytime I have like 400, 500 views on the video, as much as YouTube shadow ban me, I know those guys was fighting to see that video. So I'm going to give y'all part two. Dating advice for older men. This is this dating advice for older men right here. Don't be the trash man. Now, of course, if you deal with women, you in your 40s and you deal with women in their 40s, you of course they're gonna have kids, they're gonna have stuff going on. But you still don't have to be the trash man. You could tell them, like, look, no nothing against your kids. You be nice to her kids, you be respectful towards her kids. And you buy food and you over there, you know, it's, it's all right to buy everybody something. But don't set yourself back at all for kids that's not yours. These women got to learn. They be talking hella crap. About what a man need to do. And it's like, okay, let's look at the guy you had kids with. You say, well, I, well, we live and we mature, we grow. Yeah, we do. But we still have to look at your history, though. We still got to look at your history. See, now you up here, right? But you, you was giving him everything that your quality ain't the same as what you gave Pookie. And these ticks be, be playing games and stuff like they don't remember that. So stop bailing them out, man. Don't be the trash man. Y'all be bailing these chicks out, man. When she say... She done messed over him done been like a demon for years. And you come in and you trying to act like she hasn't, like she's some type of angel or something. When she messed over a dude that was a better man than you, you a trash man. And now you trying to marry her and stuff. Now she think all that stuff she was doing and saying ain't nothing wrong with it because of you. Because you don't know how to vet. You don't know how to pass up chicks. You're too thirsty. And I got to understand that some of these guys just start getting some. So they're going to be more thirsty. Control your thirst and stop being trash men. You just, you collecting the trash. You collecting somebody else's trash. And you trying to turn it into collectibles. Ain't no antiques in there. Show me a hundred men that married somebody or got with somebody that was in a bad relationship before them and they benefited. That's not, if you could show me a hundred in the whole U.S., I'm talking about benefited. And we ain't talking about guys that met her when he was in prison, because they do that too. They do that too. They talking to the dude in prison behind your back. 
trash. T R Ash. And even in some cases, the prison dude is trash, man. Just because you go to prison don't mean your life is over. You being the trash, man. And y'all dude, listen, man. The prison dude be thinking he tough, man. Sometimes you have to put that, put him on his ASS. Not for her. You don't fight over these chicks. Some of these dudes, I be hearing them, they be starting stuff. I know. They be starting stuff with the with the um the old guy. Because they simps. You should see them. Like, okay, so at 8 o'clock, right? The phone shut off at 8.45. At 8 o'clock, them dudes get the whining, crying, complaining, arguing with each other over the phone because they most of them are trash, man. They think that somehow they can put the last little words in these chick ears and stop them from doing stuff. They're going to do what they do. Let me say that again. Hey, listen, man. They going to do what they do. Don't be like me and have to find out the hard way. See, it's not always good to catch them before they do what they going to do. You got to sometime when you know something going on, you got to just let it play out. Because a lot of time when you catch them before they do exactly what they wanted to do or set out to do, it's going to be hell on earth. It's going to be hell on earth for you. Don't be the trash man, man. You the dude that she completely messed over the last man. And you taking her down the aisle trying to marry. Trash man. You gon you gon you think she won't do that to you? She start getting mad. A grudge holder is gonna remain a grudge holder. Most grudge holders don't stop on grudge. So you the trash man, you do number two. You think that she not going to hold grudges and not get you none? She going to do you the same way, if not worse. And you going to be a, a, you know, you got a history of DV and chicks. So you going to try to choke her up or beat her up when she do it to you. And you going to be in jail and here she go again, running her numbers up. So listen. Look forward to God, man. Look forward to your paycheck. I'm not telling you not to mess with women. Why would I tell you that? And you do it right, it's fun. I'm telling you, don't be the trash man. Don't look for, don't put your hope in them. You trying to end up like Adam or worse? Adam had the whole world. He was the king of the world. And he let his inability to understand and dominate his woman take all of that away from him. Don't you be like Adam. Don't be like Adam, man. And these, and these people be on YouTube talking about kind of off subject, kind of off car video. Man, car video, people make getting thousands of views. If they don't get shadow banned, they're getting thousands of views from car video. I'm telling you stuff. That these dudes in them studio, them fancy studio, they don't got the knowledge and wisdom to tell you. 
They don't got the experience to tell you. Their experience is different. They have different occupational paths. They done dealt with different people. My experience, I'm telling you, don't be a trash man. You you can jag and get your nut off. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Oh, you're supposed to be a person. Shut the... These people, man. You're not finna limit the things I say over my connection to the most high. So I'm supposed to be in favor of marriage in today's world? In favor of stepdaddy? In favor of the side dude? He's still paying her alimony. She ain't had sex with him in years. And you getting it in a week. And you, you think I'm not going to help guys avoid a situation like this? I guarantee you. Please come in the comments and tell me if this is you I'm talking to. Your wife messing with dude at work. Messing with dude next door. Messing with dude down the street around the corner. Messing with the dude she saw in Walmart. And he, she literally shut down on you before she met him. And he still ain't married her. She's sucking his nuts and sucking his meat. And giving him what she was supposed to give you, Mr. Provider and Protector. She's sending spread, spread eagle, spread booty pictures to this man. And she don't even want you to see her nugget, but you got to pay bills for her. And you the one they're going to charge alimony and child support. Stop marrying these women, man. If you marry them, if you got to just marry them, you just want to be right before God, don't do it with a marriage license. Just do it ceremonial. The system ain't right for us to be going getting marriage license. And they ain't right. I'm telling you, I know I'm talking to somebody. Dude banging your girlfriend. You got two kids with her. She trying to hit you for child support. He banging her for free and she buying them food. She buying them shoes for his birthday. But then she coming to you for money. You already got the money. And then you got the, the ex-wives that try to cry their way. You think you acting like you spiritual, but you be doing everything them center girls do. You think you can cry before God and that's going to erase all the lives you destroying with your immaturity in relationships. And you still having sex. It's adultery. Um, let me show you how adultery works from a biblical perspective. For a man... It's messing with somebody else that's in a committed marriage. For a woman, it's messing with somebody else in a committed marriage or messing with somebody else and you in a committed marriage. Take it up with the most high. That's just the way it is. Maybe he, maybe he made it like that because of Eve. Who knows? It don't matter. He could do what he wants. In him is no darkness at all. Then you got people like Pastor Dow that try to justify messing with other dudes. Pastor Dow is a trash man. No matter how he try to come back, you messing with dudes wives, you a trash man. Adulterous men are trash men. Side dude is trash man. Stepdaddy is trash man. Work husband is trash man. Simp is trash man. You giving them the attention that they don't need. They need to grow up. 
and realize what their function is in a relationship, but you giving them attention on Facebook, I had to stop myself. Because, like, you know how somebody look decent or seem decent and they be posting stuff and you be reacting to it? You just giving them the attention they need. They ain't getting with none of y'all because you, you, you giving them that attention that make them suck their thumb and I can go to bed. They might want to suck their thumb. They might want to stick a bottle in some of these chicks' mouth. Y'all rocking them to sleep. They look, you know, baby drink bottle. Trying to figure out who you is. Looking you in the face. That's them. Y'all the one with them in your arms rocking. Trash man. Enough said.